In this lecture, my goal will be to explain to you a biological process using chemistry. I will show you that the movement of ions across a cell membrane in a neuron cell is identical to the movement of ions in a concentration cell. And in fact, a neuron cell is a more complex version of a concentration cell. So let's begin. So let's suppose this is our cell membrane in a neuron cell. Here's our outside of the cell and the inside of the cell. Now, assuming our cell reaches a resting electrical potential, we're going to have many more of these sodium ions on the outside than on the inside. Now, what will entropy tell us about this situation? Well, entropy will tell us that our system is not even, and we will want to move towards a more even system. In other words, some of these guys will want to move inside the cell so that we have the same number of ions on the inside as outside. So, at this point we say there's a high concentration gradient or high chemical gradient on the outside. And the concentration gradient simply comes from the number of molecules. The more molecules there are, the higher the concentration gradient. And things tend to move from a high concentration gradient to a low concentration gradient. So ions will want to move from the outside to the inside due to a chemical or a concentration gradient. Now notice what happens as our positively charged ions begin to move to the inside. Well, as this one moves, then this one moves, and a third one moves, and a fourth one moves, what happens? Well, there's a buildup of positive charge on this side. As these guys go across the membrane, there's a buildup of positive charge. And this slows down the movement because positive charge and positive charge repel. And so eventually, these guys will stop moving this way. And that means now we can talk about another gradient called the electrical gradient. Now the electrical gradient is due to charge and not number. So the more charge there is here, uh, the more our electrical uh, gradient will play a role in dictating in which direction our molecule moves. And in fact, w when the chemical gradient or the concentration gradient equals the electrical gradient, the rates that these molecules are moving inside is going to equal to the rates at which they're moving to the outside. And that's exactly what a rusting potential is. It's in the equilibrium state. So now let's look at our electrochemical cell, or a concentration cell. In the first half cell, this is our anode, oxidation takes place. And our cathode, reduction takes place. So, the, notice that these guys, so we have the two inner electrodes, we have the conductor and the soul bridge, these guys can be thought of as being the membrane. Okay? Now, what happens in this cell? Well, if in this cell oxidation takes place, then our sodium solid molecules, oh, by the way, these guys are made from sodium solid. So, our sodium solid molecules are oxidized, releasing our Na molecules into our solution and releasing electrons into this conductor. These electrons then transfer all the way to this electrode, react with a positively charged ion, which is taken up from the solution into our electrode, they react to produce sodium solid. So, really, as our reaction progresses, our concentration of sodium ions increases in beaker 1 and decreases in beaker 2. So, in a way, we can think of our sodium ions traveling from this, uh, this beaker, beaker 2, to beaker 1, from the cathode to the anode. And that is exactly why we consider this beaker 1 to be the inside and this beaker 2 to be the outside, right? Because initially, on the inside, we have less uh, sodium ions than on the outside. Here we have more. And when we have our rest of potential, this is the amount of sodium ions on the inside and this is the amount of sodium ions on the outside. Now notice what happens. Our sodium ions tend to move from the outside to the inside. And the same thing is dictated by this concentration system. Also, electrons tend to move from the anode <coughs> to the cathode. Likewise, electrons move 
from a high electrical gradient to a low electrical gradient, right? What happens as the ions move from this guy to this guy? Well, there is a buildup of electrical gradient on this side. It increases. And then electrons begin to transfer from this side to this side, right? And that's exactly what happens in this system too. The sodium ions move this way, the sodium ions move this way, and electrons move the other way, and electrons move the other way. So a neuron cell is simply a complex version of a concentration cell. And the ions and electrons move in the same way in a cell membrane of a neuron cell as they do in a concentration cell. And now we can use this concentration cell setup with the oxidation and reduction reactions to calculate our cell voltage or rustic potential due to these sodium ions. And let's do exactly that. So here's our oxidation reaction and our reduction reaction. We add these guys up to find the net reaction. Now these guys cancel out, the electrons cancel out, and we are left with the sodium ions in the cathode and the sodium ions in the anode. And so according to our net reduction, there's a transfer of these guys from the cathode to the anode. And that's exactly what we see in this system and in this system. So now what we do is we simply realize that our Q for this system is the concentration of this guy over the concentration of this guy. So let's go back to our uh, Nernst equation. Notice that our E for standard conditions cancels out because we have the same type of equation and so uh, they have the same magnitude but different signs. So when you look the value up on a table, you add them up and they cancel out. That's why that E goes away. And now we have E equals negative RT ln of Q over NF. Now F is a constant, R is a constant. Since this is a neuron cell, it's body temperature. So 37 degrees Celsius, 37 plus uh, 273 is 310. Now let's see, R is a constant, F is a constant, N is the number of electrons. In our case, we have one mole of electron on this side and on this side, so N is 1. Now Q, we said, is the concentration in the anode over the concentration in the cathode. So 0 0.018 molar over 0 0.150 molar. The M's cancel, and we get this guy here. Now we plug this into the calculator, we get a negative number, and there's a negative on the outside, so the negatives cancel, and this is our final answer. Now, once again, I want to really talk about what this guy means because this guy is important. This is what is achieved at equilibrium, right? This means that when equilibrium is achieved, the chemical gradient or the concentration gradient equals the electrical gradient. So their rates are equal, and this is exactly what it is. So our concentration gradient is 0.057 volts, but our electrical gradient is negative 0.057. Remember, because they're reverse. When the concentration gradient pushes it one way, the electrical gradient, these electrons, push it the other way. So they have the same magnitude equilibrium, but they have different signs. And this is exactly what it means.